today's episode of Moto Cheese. Maybe you can hire the M Team. The following movie is rated I. Got my little drawing, some old wood. That'll be my table, flip up part of table. The rest of it I'll do out of pine because I got some old pine here. Getting there. Yeah, I didn't have a big enough piano hinge. I'll have to pick one up. So there it is, roughed in. I still got to cut my holes for my propane things. The center piece. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. And then, of course, this. I got to get the little brackets. That'll hold that up, lock it up. I can make something, but I'll probably buy the hardware. I haven't decided yet. So that's roughly what it's going to look like. It's running. This is ice cold. The heat's about right here. So that's probably safe. I'll probably have to put some kind of a metal splash behind that against a window. If I'm going to use that inside. Just, to, you know, for coffee pot or something. This works pretty good. It's actually for a golf cart. I'll put a link below. It's pretty cheap too. I think it was like $50 for this. I'll bet you it heats this van up really good. It's cold down here now. It's about 50 because it's cold outside. About 35. But I still have to sand this up. And then I don't know what to put in the middle here. Maybe I'll just put a little tiny rail to hold stuff. I bought some L brackets. I'll probably do it from the inside. I bought a set of locking hinges so you flip it up and it locks and then you can pop them back. I cut a little notch here where the bottles sit because now I can use this lower part. I could put my toilet paper or I could put another bottle of propane or two and some other supplies. Notice I put magnetic latches so when it's closed, well, I may have to put a little piece of felt bumper there so it doesn't make noise but that's going to be the table i think it'll work it's not going to take much to heat this van up maybe i should shut the doors Let's see what it does i did order some hydraulic supports let's see the temperatures in here Sixty degrees. Oof, that's hot, huh? Almost nine hundred. Right above it is a hundred degrees. Hundred and fifteen. Hundred and fifteen. Oh, I feel the heat. The handle behind it. Uh, I guess up here it's warm. Back here, it's still cold though. Like right there. 90. Feels colder than that. Oh yeah, it's heating up in here fast. I can't do anything for ambient temperature. I guess I could do the roof here. <laughs> it's 100 degrees up here. So that will work. Like I say, it's a little closer than I really wanted. I'm not worried about this. That's a metal bar. But if I put a coffee pot, I'm more worried about the heat getting this window too hot from the flame coming off the back. So... I'm going to have to make something out of metal, maybe. Just a little plate that can go back there. Oh, it's getting warm in here now. I've been in here not quite five minutes yet. Yeah, see, it's not, not anything that's going to catch a fire. I did actually buy a small fire extinguisher that's going to go right here. Got to have a fire extinguisher. That is a must. Oh, yeah, it's warm. Yeah, see, 75. 65 65 it's warmed it up in here pretty good already i think that's 8000 btus but i believe that small propane bottle it claims it'll run six hours but i will carry the base with this so i don't have to use it in here i could use it in here just for a small coffee pot and then some of you say well why don't you just keep this and use that for heat open flame 
uh, catalytic style heaters way more efficient and it burns off the excess fumes and yeah it'll burn up the oxygen in here but you know what you just crack the window a little bit like that I've been in here probably a little over five minutes now and it's god feels like it's almost pretty close to 100 degrees 136 up there wow Yeah, I know, I don't like flammables next to it either. But that's not anywhere near where we should worry about it. And something like this I would never turn on and try to fall asleep either. You'd have to turn it on, get everything warmed up, shut it off. Because it shut it off, it's just a button. That's it. It's plenty warm in here. Right now it's got to be 90 degrees in this little van. <laughs> Heats it up pretty good. We'll see how cold it actually is in the garage. I'd say it was 55. Cold out here. Let's see. Uh, 61. 60. Yeah, so it's about 60 degrees in the garage. And it heated up a little bit more than five minutes. It was, we feel the heat pouring out of this thing. I'm happy with that performance. So even if it's, say, 30 degrees, I'm pretty confident that heater will definitely keep it warm. I think we're safe. And then I'm thinking maybe the inverter can get mounted here. This I may use and put it in there for charging different type of things. So that's what I got so far. I'm going to sand it down, stain it. Yeah, it's still maybe 85, 90, 130. I don't really feel it. I guess it is. A little cheap heat source right there. I know I've seen those little Mr. Heaters that stand up and stuff. I thought this would definitely be best. Easy start. I mean, you just push that down and it starts. The only downside to this is you can't adjust how much BTUs you're putting out. If it has a catalyst, most of them you can't really do it anyway unless you turn one or two burners off. I believe this has an oxygen cutoff though. I know it has a tip where it'll shut off if it tips and I'm, I'm pretty sure it said it had an oxygen cutoff. Simple. I'm no carpenter. Or cabinet maker by any means. But I think that'll work. Notice I left a little to grab underneath to open that. I left a little space under here to get your fingers under it. I had to use this to space it up a little bit for that because that goes over the bottle a lot more than that let's get to sanding a few moments later I got her all sanded up time for some stain this may end up being a little darker than what I'd like but it should work all this pine was all scrap pine that I've had around maybe it'll end up blending a little better Yeah, not too bad. I missed a mini truck. That little extra hand. I mean, you used the bed, you know. Kind of matches the old wood that I had. So that's good. Mm, I guess I should have took the hardware off, huh? Like I said, I'm not a carpenter, boys. I don't even play one on YouTube. It came out lighter than I thought it would, which I'm happy with. I really didn't want it too dark. Should have done a little better sand than there, boys. I think I got the inside pretty good. Not too bad for a brush job. It's all glued and screwed. Everything. Yes, I could have plugged this and sanded it. But like I said, I'm not a carpenter. Plus there's going to be stuff mounted. You won't even see that. I guess I should have sanded the letters off, huh? Oh well. What'd I say? I'm not a carpenter. Or a cabinet maker. I'm going to put some felt in these holes. So there's not as much jiggling going on with the bottles. I 
Well, that looks like it, boys. I think I got everything. Looks good to me. Took some felt, stapled it around. Put some on the bottom. So now that fits like a glove and it won't rattle. <laughs> Look at that, boys. So it's pretty much done. Not 100%, but these hinges I bought were supposed to be stay hinges, but they were not. Stay hinges have to go past that center point to be able to lock. These hinges ended up being like straight, so if you pushed it, they'd flex. So I had to take my little die grinder and grind in here a little bit more. Not only that, it didn't have a left and right set. They were all, I guess you would call it right. So I had to pop the rivets and reverse them. And that's what she looks like with the table flipped up, boys. Quite a bit of real estate. Not too shabby. Everything's in there. Got my toilet paper. That's a must while you're camping, isn't it? It'll also double as a fire starter. Got my extra propane. Got my little lighter to light my stove on the top. This I have wrapped a little cup I picked up from Walmart. And these are good because if you want to do coffee, instant that is, you just do that. Gotta have your spices. You just basically put the water in a cup, put it there, and boil it, and put your instant, if you like instant. I don't really like instant coffee, but if that's all you got, it's all you got. I guess you could get a perk, but if it's only one person, instant's fine. Of course, I put this rag in here so stuff doesn't rattle around. And then I got my little mess kit too from Wally World. I'm sure y'all seen these, especially if you were in the Boy Scouts. And that comes with a couple different pans, of course, so you can cook whatever, like hot dogs. I kind of leave this so it doesn't rattle around does come with a little water cup, comes with a lid for your pan, and of course a lid if you want to cook with that, and a plate. So that's pretty nice to have. I leave the wrapping on it because it stops it from making noise. It was a little loose so I stuck that piece of cardboard in there so it doesn't rattle around. It's a handy kit to have if you're camping. That wedge is in there pretty good. I just don't like having stuff rattle around. Put my little felt strips. Oop. Hit my damn keys. Stupid keys. So anyways, that's it. And yeah, I forgot one spot to stain. Put a little power inverter. Just for charging up like the drone and stuff like that. Doesn't that it's not going to be a big draw. So I ended up doing it through the plug. Has an extra plug here. There's some extra plugs down there for charging. Also have the fire extinguisher, which is a must if you have any kind of flammables. It's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher regardless. So now I'm waiting for my little fold out chair that folds out into a bed. I have to come up with something to level all this off. It's five inches high from here. Might end up with maybe some storage, little plastic storage bins if I could find them. I gotta look through my camping stuff because I do have a little army water bottle that actually I'll fit in there too. Then of course I gotta get my little instant coffee and creamers. I didn't decide what to do up here yet. I may just see if I could find a little basket that I can just screw down on top of that. They have those little plastic baskets or even a low profile stainless basket would be really nice. 
just to put stuff in there. Until next time, stay cheesy. But I pity the fool. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.